Okay, so I thought that Bittersweet Symphony was bad. Boy, was I wrong! <sighs> Seriously, I don't even know. Like, they kill Cam off, and now they break up Eclair. My life is officially over. I don't, I don't even know why I'm here anymore. I don't, I don't, nope. Eli's just stupid. Let's just put it that way. He's still my favorite character. I mean, he always will be, but he's just stupid. Like, beyond stupid. He takes the freaking drugs again. He showers. He strips naked. He hugs Simpson naked. And then he breaks up with Claire because apparently she's too caring. Oh my gosh. I'm so just... Ah! I don't know. Okay. So like I said, he basically just did all the things I mentioned. And... As much as I hate his guts right now, that whole shower naked scene was hilarious. That was like the best scene of the whole entire episode. That's the only reason why I watch it over and over again, the episode, is because of that scene. Sorry, that's all. It's just because of that scene. Um, I honestly don't understand why he thought that Claire was the problem. Like, I still don't see that. Like, she's trying to help you. She loves you, okay? And then, apparently, in the shower scene, he said that she didn't want to have sex with him because she thought he was damaged. Which he still kind of is. I'm sorry. Well, he's getting his ways now, but still. Like, I don't blame her. Like, they needed, you know take time to cope with everything before they can get back to normal, which is understandable. Come on! And then... Then he just breaks up with her. He says they need time off. What is that? Seriously? She's been there for you through all your hard times? And yes, she was talking to you a lot about Cam and a lot about the drugs, but that's just because she cares, you stupid. She loves you. Get over yourself. That last scene killed me. I was like, I'm done. You guys saw that? When Claire was like crying outside and Eli just kind of looks away, like everything's fine in the world. It's not. Get back with her. Apologize. I just don't even know anymore. I really don't. Eli's just stupid. Um, <laughs> even though I said that quite a few times now. Um, that whole scene with him in the um the office with Simpson and his dad was brilliant. Um, when he started crying, I was like, <gasps> like it started to make me cry. But I still hate him. But. <laughs> made me cry um but I was really hoping that there was going to be an Eli Simpson connection and there was I was like yes yes it's what I wanted he was saying that he found you know uh, a body that you know guy who committed suicide sorry I'm losing my train of thought um and he says you know it doesn't change overnight like I've been there, like, I'm in your situation, or I've been in your situation, I'd say. So, I loved that. That was excellent. I was like, that's what I wanted. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about the Eli thing. Um, I will say, though, I have hope for Eclair. Gasp, what? I do. If you guys watch the promos, you will remember there was a scene with Eli and Claire where she said, we're not a fairy tale, Eli. And then he says, you know, I want a happy ending. So please, please, please keep your hopes up with me. Because I'm so rooting for them to get back together at the very end, so. But that's just me. And, well, as for 
the whole Jenna Connor thing, I have found out how I feel about them. I like them. I thought when, you know, Becky started talking to Jenna about the whole, um, Luke thing, and she's like, I think he's really good, and I think you guys would be perfect for each other. I was like, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. I thought that seriously she was going to be like, oh, you know, maybe I will give him a chance. And then that whole Connor thing was just a blow over. Like, it was just, you know, one date thing. So he'll get over it. I was going to say, if she did that, I'd be so mad, though. Because poor Connor. But she didn't. Luke got all grabby grabby. I was like, <coughs> I wanted to pull a Connor. Go, Connor. Oh my gosh, he punched him in the face. He freaking deserved it. I'm sorry he did. I was waiting for that. I so was. I was like, I'm so waiting for that scene to come. So, yeah. That was excellent. Although she did get kind of mad at him, which is... I would understand, because you just don't punch anyone, but still, he deserved it. Anyways, I have mixed feelings. <laughs> so, um, they're cute. Jenna gave Connor space food. I don't know how you how it's actually called, but what it's actually called. Wow, I'm really tired. Um but and then they went walking off to school, talking about their next date and if they like movies and stuff, I was like, Oh they're cute. They're they're totally opposite, but they're cute. So um yeah. I like them. How about you? And then finally, there's Katie. I really thought that Katie and Jake would get back together in this episode, and they didn't. But they ended on good terms. I mean, not. I'm not saying that there's they're gonna get back that they're not gonna get back together in later episodes because they probably will. But um, in this episode, they. They seem to be okay with each other. So, um, that was so cute. She cared about Jake and she wanted to get that, um, the garden reopened. And it is. Although, I loved that scene where they weren't gonna wait anymore, you know, for, uh, them to see if uh, they okayed it <laughs> for, um, the garden to be reopened. They were just like tearing the whole thing down. And then they all got attention for it, but still, I thought that was pretty clever. I liked that. Um, Jake was thinking about Katie. And he offered her, or not offered, he gave her a paper that said something about a sucker, summer job or whatever, and I was like, oh. He was thinking about her. So yeah, they're both thinking about each other. Let's just put it that way. So I think they're cute. I want them to get back together. So the garden is back, and I just I have so many mixed feelings right now. I'm dreading what's coming next. Um. Oh my gosh, I forgot. How many of you loved Maya in Pigtails? Loved it. Oh my, she's so cute. But we're gonna see her being messed up pretty soon here. I can guarantee that. So yeah, that's what I think. My Eclair heart is just broken. And it won't be back until later episodes, most likely. It's probably gonna be at the very end. Watch. It's gonna be at the very, very, very end. And they're just gonna make us wait. That's gonna be fun. But who knows? Anything can happen. That's like gonna be my motto now. Until season 12 ends. Anything can happen. It's just, it's, it's unending. So yes. Tell me what you guys thought. Did you guys like it? Did you not like it? Is your eclair heart broken too? I just don't know. Oh! Before I end, I meant to tell you guys that I got, uh, I won the contest to get that huge Degrassi poster. I got it. I got it, like, seriously before Bittersweet Symphony Part 2, but I just have been really lazy to showing you guys, so I'm sorry, but... I'll show you now. <laughs> I have it with me. 
it's basically what you guys saw, like the whole, um, yeah, I'll just show you. It's huge. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's humongous. I don't know if I'm going to hang it up yet, though. I'll have to wait and see. So, I love it. Thank you, Epitome Pictures, for giving me the poster. So, yeah. Alright, my video is ending. And, um, I'll see you guys next week. Karma Police. Fiona is going to get into some trouble. I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'm excited for the Dallas plot, though. And the Zig plot. I need to see a little more Zig. Even though I'm not really a fan of him right now, but... Oh well, that could change. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye, everyone.